Okay, question 9b. The incomplete table below shows values of x and y for the function y equals 2 to the power of x for integer values of x from negative 4, not from negative 1 to 4. Okay, complete the table for the function y equals 2 to the power of x. All right, let's look at that. You have y equal 2 to the power of x so when x is negative 1 as occurs right here y is equal to 2 to the power of negative 1 so y is equal to 2 to the negative 1 is really a half alright that's 2 to the negative 1 is really half which is you could write 0 0.5 now when x is 1 which is the situation here y is equal to 2 to the power of 1 which is 2 so 2 would be here when x is 2 the situation here y is equal to 2 to the power of 2 and 2 squared you know is 4 4 all right what is it that's going to come in this space work it out and tell me now y is equal to 2 to the power of 4 which is 2 to the power of 4 means you have four twos and they all multiply together 2 twos, 4, 4 twos, 8, 8 twos, 16 so you'd have 16 here 16 here all right good so after that they say on the grid provided on page 27 so the grid provided on page 27 this is the grid they say draw graph of y is equal to 2 to the x using a scale of 2 cm to represent 1 unit on the x axis and 1 cm to represent 1 unit on the y axis for marks alright x axis 2cm for one unit. Let me just. I've copied the grid here. Let me just make a note of that. For the x axis, for the scale, 2cm equal 1 unit. So they say. 2 cm to represent 1 unit on the x axis, 1 cm for 1 unit on the y axis. So, on the y axis, 1 cm equal 1 unit. Good. Now, we want to plot. Let me put this one side. Here, you have negative 1 0 0.5 but we want to look at what our numbers will be x goes from negative 1 to 4 so x goes from negative 1 to 4 2 cm for 1 unit so on the x-axis if we have our 0 right here 2 cm for 1 unit we go over 2 cm, that's 1. 2 more cm, that's 1 more, which is 2. 2 more cm, that's 1 more, which is 3. 2 more cm, that's 1 more, which is 4. We go up to 4. But we have space here for 5. Let's go down negative 1, negative 2. Good. 2 cm represent 1 unit. On the y axis, 1 cm to represent 1 unit. How far does it go to again? goes up to 16 
so what we will have is uh, goes up to 16 it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so remember it's on these at these points that we're really plotting Alright. And we're plotting along these points as well. Good. And of course we have our origin right here. Now going to plot the graph negative 1 0 0.5 so we have negative 1 0 0.5 let me plot the graph at this point Neg negative 1 0 0.5 that's halfway up I'm using red for the individual points or I could use blue Red is a bit bright and all right. Then we have zero one, so that's zero. X is zero. Y is one. So we have right here. Then next point one two. So when X is one, Y is two that will happen right at that point here so remember you use when you're plotting you either use a dot with a circle around it or an X to represent the point don't just use a dot alone you have 2 4 when X is 2 when X is 2 Y is 4 that would happen uh, right here okay then when x is 3 y is 8 so I have 3 8 good when x is 4 y is 16 so we have 4 above 4 and besides 16 okay good so now remember it's going to be a curve don't use straight lines to join the line it's going to be a smooth curve because the thing is you know if you plotted 0 0.5 then you plotted 0 0.6 0 0.7 1.1 1 1.2 1.3 and so on and you draw through all those lines those points i mean you would get a smooth curve so it should really be a smooth curve so let me try my hand at that at this I'm doing it on a computer drawing tablet if I did it on a graph paper it would be a bit better but you have a smooth curve should look something like this ah K okay. smooth curve like that So you have the graph, right? You draw the graph. Then draw drawing appropriate lines on your graph. Determine the value of x for which two to the power of x is eleven. The value of x for which two to the power of x is eleven. 
Now what that means, you're going to identify where y is 11. All right, and if you draw a horizontal line, the value for y is equal to 11, wherever it crosses the line, that the curve, you go down to find the value of x. It looks like about three and a half. It says, draw pro drawing appropriate lines on your graph, determine the value of x for which two to the x is equal to 11. So it's the value of x. So where the intersection, Right, what's going on? Where the intersection is, right? Wherever the intersection is, you draw down. Well, it might it might be just a bit below three point five, but I would say x is equal to about three point five for me. Right? For my graph. So, in that case, you would say x is equal to 3.5. Alright, so that's question 9. Good. We'll continue next time.